We out here in Jesus name. Look at this beautiful ocean. My father created that. <laughs> My father created that. What your father did? Your father, the father of lies. But we out here, we're gonna interview people and see if we can get them to think a different way. We can see if we can get them to go on a different road. Right now, they're on a wide road. But we gotta get them on a narrow road. In Jesus' name, get a get a picture of that, get a view, get a video of that ocean. Ocean. I like that ocean. Three hours later. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. And we are out here. What's your name, man? It's Bodie. S nice to meet you. Say it again? Bodie. Bodie? Chris, man, nice to meet you. So what you out here doing today? Just chilling, having a having a beach day. That's good. That's good. All right, for living life. Living life. You got to live life, huh? You got to live life. Uh, first question I got for you today, man, is what do you think about the human race? Um shit. There's many good people and there's also many bad people. There's a bunch of people trying to do good in the world and there's a bunch of people trying to do bad things. And uh uh I don't know. Bad people are corrupt nowadays. I don't know. Selfish, huh? That's real. That's real. What do you think makes them like that? I don't know. Could be many factors. Money. Mm -hmm. Uh. Power, like, like a, like a, a standing point. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. Right. Having power over someone. I don't know. That is real. Money and power does make you evil sometimes. How do you think we all got here? <coughs> what do you think? That's your friend right there? Yeah, he's laughing. I think he's gonna get in it too. I think I think I think the monkeys ate mushrooms. For real? Yeah. Nah, you don't really think that. No, nah, I I'm So you think monkeys ate mushrooms and made humans? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Why you think that? Man, brains weren't gonna develop just like just like out of nowhere. Right. So what made the monkeys? Uh I mean maybe the mushrooms made the monkeys? No, nah, I mean like not uh, mushrooms but man. So what made the monkeys then? Shit, I don't know what the hell the monkeys evolved from. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he left. It's a hard question. Right. What do you guys So do you do you do you believe in God then? Yeah. You believe in God? Mm hmm Yeah. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so I would say that God made monkeys and God made humans, but I wouldn't say we evolved from humans, you know? We are humans. Yeah, hold on, pause. You mean evolved from monkeys? Yeah, we we ain't evolved from humans. From God. From from monkeys, yeah. Because they think evolution and apes and stuff like that. I don't know. I wish someone could write it down and show me. It's it's in the Bible. Oh yeah, for, yeah, it's written down there, and I can show you. You know what I'm saying? What they say? They said that God made man and woman. He made Adam and Eve. So there's just like the first day, it's just like boom. First well, day. the Bible just say that God said, "Let there be light," and then there was light, and He made the days. So He made monkeys and humans on a separate plane. Probably on separate separate days. Yeah. But you're not an ape, man. You know what I'm saying? You didn't evolve from no ape. You know what I'm saying? You have a purpose. I'm just thinking that, like the. Do you know you have a purpose? I'm a sapien. Do you know you have a purpose? Yeah. What is your purpose? Uh, to live. I don't know. You gonna get in it too? What is your purpose? You gonna get in it? Come in it. Come in it. Come in it. Come in it. You laughing? We out here. What up, bro? What's your name? What up, Tariq? Tariq. Yes. Sir. We we out here with Tariq too. I was just asking him. Uh, well, I'm asking you. Well, we could just start from where we at. What what is your purpose? In life? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever God plan is. Uh, oh, that's good. You believe in God? Of course. Got a destiny. That's good. I got a destiny. That's good. You can't choose your own destiny. God has everything. You think? You. you think apes came from mushrooms and stuff like you said? What do you mean the ape came from? What do you mean? What do you say? How you said it? How you said it? The mu the mushroom ape theory, bro. What do you mean mushrooms came from apes? How? No. What do you say? How you said it? He asked how humans evolved or something, and I said from monkeys. They ate the mushrooms. You think we're from monkeys? Do you what do you believe? What do you believe? So how do you believe you came from monkeys if you believe in God? That was a good question. 
but he asked me that too. I, don't, I couldn't explain it. What? So, now you know. Big Bang? Oh, yeah. So, hot, what is, so, are you atheist? Nah, I just, you really go hard. <laughs> nah. You <laughs> go hard. You go hard. Nah. So, you believe in God? Yeah, of course. You do? Yeah. Of course, I can tell. How can you tell? You're nice. No, I'm just Nah, that's funny. So, I'm gonna ask you guys these. You something that's super interesting? If you took apart a watch, right? And you you took all of the gears and all of the pieces that are on a watch, there's like over a thousand pieces that, uh, yeah, it goes into a watch. You put all of them to a Ziploc bag and you shake it up for a thousand years. That's still, uh, it's still not the possibility of a uh, Big Bang Theory happening. Like, that's the equivalent to a Big Bang Theory happening. Basically, a bunch of bullshit. Big Bang bullshit. Now, I don't even know what that. Inf anyway. Infinite possibilities. Check me out. So, would you guys say you fear God? Yeah, that's the only man I fear. The only person I fear is God. The only person you should fear is God. That's good. For sure. So you guys fear God? What does is, what is fearing God look like? It's not fearing God. It's not like fearing Him, but like the stuff He's life capable of doing. Yeah, not even life after death. No, that's that's the glory of it. Life after death is the glory. It's either you're going to praise God and worship. It's not even really fear. It's like a... A one, a wonder. Feeling. Yeah, wondering. Yeah. You won't wonder about it. I don't know. Not certain. Well, the Bible says it says the fear of the Lord is the uh, beginning of wisdom, and to fear the Lord is to depart from evil. Yeah. Would you guys say you guys are departing from evil? For sure. Be honest. It's okay. You don't gotta lie. Yes. And when you say evil, what do you mean by evil? Like things that are sins. Things, things that are sins. So do you guys know what sins are? Yes. I could say I'm getting better. I mean, not everybody's perfect, so like, of course, I repent. But like. That doesn't help because I know like I'm going to go back and do what I'm sinning or doing, but it's better to repent and keep doing it and then not repent. But like I'm, I'm trying, but I know God's on my side and he knows I'm trying. You sound like you know, are you like raised up and like what's up, like what's the background? I just brought myself around it. Like, right. To just my friends. So you know what Jesus did for you then? Yeah, he died for us, for our sins, of course. For us what does that mean? He died for, like, what we're doing every day, what everybody doing in their natural life, that is a known sin he did, or he just worshipped for us. Not worship, but, like, sacrificed for us. He put his life on the line for us. For us to do what we're doing now, like, when it says, for instance, when we're not supposed to smoke a sin, he died for that reason right there. He didn't die for Why? that reason. Why did he have to die for that? He didn't, he didn't have to, but he wanted to because he... I don't even know. I don't know. Because, because, because our sin sends us to hell. The wages of sin is death. Like wages, you go to work, you get paid a check. The wages of sin is death. So he died for your sin and your sin and my sin and his sin. So we don't go to hell. Because when you die, when you die, when I die, when he dies, we're going to face God. And he's going to judge us. Does that make sense? It's like if you was to like, someone was to rob you or something, and then you take them to court. And then the judge would be like, you robbed him, you got to go to jail for two years. He was a, he's a, he's a righteous judge. He, you wouldn't like it if he just let that, he said, nah, you good. You robbed him, you slapped him, you, you kill all this stuff you're good just go out that wouldn't be fair right that wouldn't be just right nah so it's the same thing with God with our sin it wouldn't be just if he just let it go and that's why he died for it so because someone had to pay for it you know what I'm saying does that make sense yeah for sure because yes, like got me thinking a lot bro that's good that's what I'm here to do man open your eyes in Jesus name because the devil's out here deceiving everybody Correct. understand yeah okay. for sure Tell you do this, yeah. shrooms probably, acid, yeah. all these things. Something's telling you not to do it, you shouldn't probably do it. That's so good. That brings up a thing. It's like the Bible says that God written, he wrote the laws on our hearts. You know what I'm saying? So before you even know anything's bad. You know yeah. You know, you like, ain't got nothing. You feeling like, bro, I don't even think I should I should do this. Like, yeah, like, this don't even feel good. Like going in the store, you see some shit you want and you're like, oh yeah, I'm about to put this in my pocket. And somebody's telling you, no, I don't do it. Don't do it. You shouldn't even be thinking about it. That's that instant ticking in telling you, you know better than that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes sense? No one still is the up to say. Nah, hey. <laughs> uh, everybody is falling short of the glory of God. You know? And God cannot be mocked. You know what I'm saying? So some people, they, they, they act like they're with God and stuff like that. But God knows your heart. You know, some people, they go to church and stuff. But, like, how is your heart? You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Speaking, speaking, speaking the truth. I want to do good things in life. 
That's good. Know, being a good person, being nice to people is one of the things. Would you say? Would you say if you died, would you say being a good person would get you into heaven? Not exactly. But Why you say that? That's good. I mean, cause you could be a nice person and also be like doing fucked up shit on the side. Right. I don't know. Right. You could deceive people. What you thinking? Exactly. Can no. being a good person get you to heaven? Nah, you're, you're definitely not gonna. Nah. You could be a good person and you're not praising God. You're definitely not going to heaven. Definitely not. True. And the Bible says nobody is good but God. You know what I mean? And it says that because our good is different from God's good. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is good but God, and you still have that sin. Like we go back to the court. You could be like, Judge, I I know I robbed him, but I'm just a good person. This is the only thing I did, Judge. I broke this one law, but you ask my family, my friends, you ask Tyreek, we, 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 we good people, you feel me? But the judge is like, I don't care if you're a good person, you broke this law, I have to punish this law that you broke. That makes sense? Yes, sir. How will you guys uh, take this information and, and apply it to your life? What would you guys do differently? If you say nothing, it's fine. Nah, honestly, like... Do you expect this today? Someone to come talk to you about the kingdom? Every day is a different day. Now, I mean... No, cause like I've been praying on my, like just everything on my own. Like I like reading the Bible on my own. Like everything is better alone for me recently. It's better like reading. It just when you're getting closer to God, I feel like when you're by yourself, you really can find who you really are. And yeah, cause you won't have a bunch of voices in your head. Exactly. Like yo, let's go do this. Let's go link with this girl. Let's go smoke this. Let's go go to the party. Separate you when he needs you to when you need it to. He knows, yeah, he knows best. Mm -hmm. He got everything planned out for you. Uh, what you think would change? Like, did you expect this today to happen? Did you expect that? To, did you expect the interview to be like this? No, nah, I just thought it was gonna be some other stuff. No, nah, no, nah, I don't know. Smash a pass type <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, gotta keep, gotta, gotta keep track of like the the blessings in life. I don't know. Oh. Good. Jesus loves you guys for real. He died for you this life. Look at this beautiful thing for people to say yeah. it just came from nothing, bro That's good man. Keep keep Jesus first man oh. when you die. No, remember this for real. the devil right when you walk away The devil gonna be like forget that go smoke somewhere like forget that or go do this forget that You know go do this go do the opposite to what he just said and that's how you know it's true Cuz you hearing that like if it wasn't true Why is something else telling you it's false? You know what I'm saying? So if I came talking about unicorns you would just walk away like unicorns. I ain't even you know what I mean for real. I appreciate y'all time. Thank you. In boss. Jesus' name. Appreciate it. Now you good. Thank you, boss. Nice See you. Can I pray with y'all real quick? Yeah, of course. And I gotta get you the thing, bro.